Hi, my name is Luke with Harmonica.com and in this video I'm going to teach you everything you ever wanted to know about Heart of Gold. We're going to do the first solo. We're going to do the second solo. We're going to do the third solo. And then I'm going to show you how to play the melody in a really nice easy way that sounds great and doesn't require any bending. By the end of this video, you'll be able to play this song and really put your heart into it. Neil Young recorded Heart of Gold in 1971. He originally recorded the song in the key of G, playing a G harmonica in first position. But today I'm going to show you how to play it on one of our trusty C harmonicas. So if you have a 10 hole diatonic harmonica in the key of C, you'll be able to follow along with this lesson. Each of these solos has three lines and then the fourth line is kind of picked up by the guitar. The first harmonica solo in this song comes in at 12 seconds in the introduction before the first verse and it's going to start on hole number four. Okay, there's hole number four. So we're going to play four, five, six. So basically we're just going to slide from hole four to hole six. Then we're going to do a quick draw blow on hole five. Then we're going to do a slower draw blow on hole four and then ending on holes two and three like this. Now he actually bends into that draw four. I'm saying oi, I'm going to or some people would say wow, but I say oi. But even if you can't bend, it still sounds great. And that's the end of the first line. Let's try it really slowly. Ready, go. Again, I'm bending into that draw four. If you're not bending, don't worry. Still sounds great. Okay, second line. I'm going to go to hole number six. Then to hole number seven. A quick blow on draw six, blow six, and then a slower one. Again, you can bend into this one if you want. And then ending on hole five. So that whole line, ready, go. And then now for the fun part, the third line. What we're going to do here is we're going to say ta-ta, ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. And the first ta-ta-ta <laughs> is going to be on holes three and four. The next three are going to be on holes four and five. And then we're going to do five and six. All right, so let's find three and four. There's three and four. So we'll say ta-ta-ta on hole three, four. Then ta 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 on four five. Now we just slide one hole to the right again. So the whole thing sounds like. Then after we finish on hole five and six, we're gonna do a draw blow on four five and then end on three four. Now the tricky part about the third line here is that it does not start on beat one, it starts on beat two. So what's going to be helpful for us as we learn how to play this is if we just say rest on beat one. So I'm going to say three, four, then together we say rest. Last thing I need to tell you before we play this with the jam track is that the beginning starts on beat four. So I'm going to count in one, two, three, then we'll play four and one. That's holes four, five, six. Okay, after I say three, we're going to start together on beat four. All right, let's go ahead and try and play this with the jam track. One, two, three.
Okay, if you were able to play along with that, then congratulations. And if you were not able to play along with that, don't feel bad. There's some tricky stuff going on here. You can just go back and try as many times as you need to. Don't forget, you can also slow the video down if you need to. Okay, so solo number two is very similar to solo number one. We're gonna start again on the blow four, and we're just gonna slide up to six a bit quicker and play the six twice like this. Ready, go. Okay, so very simple. Then again, a quick draw blow on hole five. And now, no bend, we're going to do a draw blow on holes four and five, ending on three and four. So it's pretty much the same as solo number one, line one, except for this one is a bit easier. Let's try it nice and slow. Ready, go. Okay, now line two is a lot of fun. It's all double stops again. As I mentioned before, double stop just means playing two notes at the same time. And we're going to start on blow six, seven. So let's find that. There's hole six, so six and seven. There's six and seven. Then we're going to play seven and eight, which is just one hole to the right. That's getting really high, especially on the C harmonica. This is easier to play on the G harmonica because it's tuned lower. On the C harmonica, we really have to be disciplined here about keeping our jaw nice and relaxed. Ah, in an ah vowel shape. Back of the tongue is down, like ah, like when you yawn. And a very light airflow. If you blow too hard, it's going to sound bad or you're not going to get any note at all, okay? So again, six and seven. Up to seven and eight. Now we're going to do three draw blows on 5-6. Let's try the whole second line together. Ready, go. Line three is similar in feel to line three of solo number one. And we're starting on blow six and seven and just sliding one hole to the left each time. We're going to say ta-ta, 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 ta-ta. And then we do a draw blow coming right up. Draw two, three, blow three, four. Draw three, four, blow four, five. Draw four, five, blow five, six. And then we're going to end on a blow four, five, draw three, four, blow three, four. So the whole thing sounds like this, nice and slow. Ready, go. That line is very challenging. In my Beginner to Boss course, I have a whole lesson devoted just to that line of the second solo and really nailing the rhythm. Rhythm is what separates a beginning hack player from a professional excellent player. And so if you have the desire to really be able to nail these rhythms, you might want to check out my Beginner to Boss course. All right, shameless plugs aside, let's go ahead and try and play this whole solo number two with the jam track. One, two, three. All right, so how did that go for you? Were, were you able to keep up with that? It's a bit challenging, right? There's some challenging things in this one for sure. The third solo comes in after the second chorus, which is at two minutes and 12 seconds. The first line of solo three starts up on holes number six and seven. We're playing them a little bit faster, still starting on beat four, but instead of ta-ta, we're gonna be faster. Ta-ta, and then we're gonna play seven, draw six, blow six. Seven, draw six, blow six. Ready? Go. Now we're doing our bends here. Two bends on the draw six. And then ending on a blow six and then down to the blow four. So that part with the bend sounds like this. Ready, go.
If you're new to bending, it might be a little bit hard to start in the bent position. How you work on that is you start by playing the draw six, then you bend it down, and then you just stop your airflow. And then focus on keeping your mouth position in that same position and starting and stopping the airflow. So. That's how you practice being able to start from a bent position. It's a little tricky when you're first getting into bending to start in that bent position. But again, I kind of come at it with just saying, oi, oi. So that whole first line sounds like this. Ready, go. Okay, line two of the third solo starts with blowing on the five, six, five times, going down to the three, four, then five, six, and down to three, four again. It sounds like this. Ready, go. Then we're gonna do draw two, three, slide it over to draw three, four really quickly, and then blow four, five, draw four, five, and four times on four, five, like this. Then the third line is really exciting. We're gonna jump all the way up to hole number seven. And he kind of tries to play a draw six here, but he kind of like misses it a little bit. So you don't hear it that well. But I think the easiest thing to do to keep the rhythm right is just to play the draw six here on the first one. So we'll start with a blow seven, draw six, blow six. And then he does a nice variation of it here where it's blow seven, blow six, draw six, blow six. Okay, and this comes right after beat one. So, ready, go. Breath. And then he does another draw six here with a bend, and then finishing on a blow six, blow five. And then really quietly, you have to listen to be able to hear it, but he does end with a draw four, blow four. So the whole third line sounds like this. Ready, go, rest. And that's the whole third solo. Should we go ahead and go try it with the jam track? Let's do it. One, two, three. Okay, so that's everything you ever wanted to know about the actual harmonica solos in Heart of Gold, but what about if you want to learn how to play the melody of Heart of Gold? Well, I got you covered there too. There are a couple things that are challenging about playing this melody, but it doesn't require any bending the way that we're doing it here. We're making a few little modifications where it sounds really good, but doesn't require any bending. Okay, so we're going to start on the blow four, and the difficult thing is we have to jump up to the draw six. So we're skipping a hole and changing air direction at the same time, which is a bit challenging. So, I want to live is so that's four, 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 and then draw six. So, let's find hole four. There's hole four. Okay, so that's that little maneuver that's a little bit difficult. And then coming down is just the opposite. We're playing two times on the blow six, and then we're skipping from the blow six down to the draw four. And again, that's a bit challenging because we're skipping over a hole and changing direction at the same time. So we have six, skipping down to the draw four, and then ending on the blow five. So again, from the blow four up to the draw six, and then from the blow six down to the draw four are the trickiest parts of this. Other than that, it's quite easy. Let's try that much of it together. Ready, go. Moving on.
Continuing. Okay, very good. So we're most of the way through it already. Now we're going to play a whole bunch of draw fours and fives. Blow four, draw four, blow five, draw six, blow six, blow five. And if you want, you could you could go down to the four there too. That line, if you go down to the four, would sound like this. And now we're going to go down to the blow three. So really quite simple there. Let's go ahead and try this whole melody together. One, two, here we go. And then if we want to, we could end that nice little chordal walk down at the end that the rhythm section is doing, which would just be on the harmonica, draw five, six, blow five, six, draw four, five, blow four, five. So let's just do that last line from keep me searching for a heart of gold. And then we'll play that little nice little ending together. Ready, go. Well, again, my name is Luke with Harmonica.com. It has been my pleasure to hang out with you today and show you everything about Heart of Gold Harmonica by Neil Young. Please don't forget, you can check the links below the video if you want to go and see the written lesson on the website, check out the jam tracks and stuff like that. Please don't forget to like the video, give it a thumbs up, sure does help, as well as subscribe if you haven't already so that you can stay up to date with all the latest free lessons and gear reviews. Other than that, keep on playing the harmonica, having fun, and making the world a better place. Rock on. One on the charts in America, making him the first Canadian to have a number one charts in America. And really put your heart into it. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh, it's so corny. I love it.